Welcome back to the channel. This is going to be a new build series on this resin body right here. This is the 56 210 Handyman Wagon by Chevrolet. I'm actually going to be replicating a one-to-one -one build as my grandfather does own this particular uh, style of the 56 wagon. As you can see a picture right here of the one that he owns. This is the RMR resin uh, body. It took me roughly three to four months to find out if this body even existed in resin as I couldn't find it in kit form besides the 56 Nomads that are out there today by Ravel and Monogram. After me finding out the body did exist, it took me about another two months to find out who owned RMR resins. I reached out to the gentleman and he had to go through several hundred molds in order to see if this mold even existed still in his inventory and luckily it did but it definitely has seen better days so he was able to get one last uh, resin body out of that mold and this is the resin body he got uh, the resin body did have a fair amount of issues and that's why it's in primer the gentleman who owns rmr actually to correct those issues and then send the body to me primered as you see here um, there still is some issues I still need to correct along uh, the top and, and some parts of the body uh, just because of just the way the mold is unfortunately. I'm hoping he can get another master and make this mold again as it may be uh, a body that other people would want to build. Uh, some work needs to be done in here as well. Smooth us out, uh, remove some of the pinholes and stuff that are in here from the actual master that was used for this. The fender wells will also need to have some styrene added to them as they're a bit shorter than the actual Nomad kits. I will be using the Nomad kits for donors. Uh, this is the first one right here. This is the 56 Chevy Nomad 2-in-1. I will be only using the stock parts of this kit, but there are some differences in this kit than the other one I'll be showing you here in a minute. As you can see right here, the firewalls are actually a little bit different. The, uh, the molded in parts on the firewalls, how some are actually not as deep and long as the other one. And so that's where that two in one comes into play as that kit will uh, help me with the resin body where thickness lies with the resin body to actually take care of those. Uh, this is the other one right here, the 56 Chevy Nomad by Monogram. So I'll be using this one as well. This one is pretty much gonna be a backup in case something happens and I screw up with the two in one parts. I have this one ready to go. Um, I'm always a person to have duplicates of the kit when I'm building the kit, just in case something happens, I have a backup. Um, I don't wanna be that guy that has to go out and find a single part or has to look last minute for a part for uh, a build. So this body right here, I've done some work on already with the interior. This body came with the 55 Nomad interior in resin form. Uh, I sliced it and then added it to the back half of the 56 interior. I did that because the 56 interior was a little bit too narrow and this is actually a little bit wider, which is what I need. Uh, the body here is a little bit wider, a little bit thicker, so I need something to cover that spread. I'll also be having to add some height to the resin and also a little bit on the width on both sides in order to fill in the, the entire back till there's no actual gap seeing below. Uh, with that, I did just glue in the interior uh, just with some canopy glue so I can start test fitting everything. And here's where you actually can see what I was talking about with the fender wells. Well, those fender wells just have some light coming through. So I'll need to add some styrene there, get it taken care of. Um, as this body gets fit to the chassis, um, as you can see, I'll definitely make some changes in the back here to make sure it fits flush. I'll be making sure every part on this body and chassis connect as expected. So this is a great starting point for me. Um, I'll be doing some tuck and roll interior. I'll be uh, do, using some VCG resin aftermarket parts. I'll be using Iceman Collections aftermarket parts. Just a whole bunch of stuff actually along with the stock. So uh, be on the lookout for that. Uh, this again is just part one. So in part two, I'll definitely go over a lot more stuff with you. We'll see where I'm currently at with everything and we'll keep on building. So thank you for watching and have a great day.